What's going on all my fellow rustic writers? Big Bad Brad here, and today you're in for a special treat. Something a bit different. Something for all the lead heads out there. So if you love mechanical pencils or Japanese stationery, make sure to stick around. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the 0.7mm Sharp Mechanical Pencil by Pentel. I recently seen these on Target.com and knew I had to have them. This one right here is Pleasant Teal and I also bought the Cool Mint. But before we open these up, let's go over some of the packaging and some of the stuff that it said. It says 0.7mm medium lead and has metallic barrel colors the number one selling lead and the same as the number two pencil. There's a little better look at the pencil too. And some of the features of this pencil are cap conceals and protects latex free eraser, refill Pentel, Z21N eraser, superior construction meets rigorous demands and professionals and students alike, Preloaded with six pieces of Pentel Super High Polymer Lead. Never needs sharpening. Is strong and produces a clear dark line. Mechanism automatically advances lead directly from storage chamber. And 4mm tip design makes it ideal for use with rulers and templates. Alright, well that's enough talk about packaging. Let's bust her open. There we have it. Great looking pencil upon first inspection. Feels very nice in my hand. I love the metallic look. Chrome really shines on this clip. Nice thing with this clip, you can adjust it. Real firm. It's under the click of the mechanism. Smooth mechanism. Feels nice in the hands, has a very therapeutic sound. And as all you know, Pentel is a Japanese pen and pencil brand. I think they really do a great job and they make some superior writing instruments. Definitely great mechanical pencils. Now, let's open up this cool mint. Once again, comes with your refills, 0.7 millimeter lead, and here is the cool mint. Another beautiful mechanical pencil. There's still a couple, at least one or two more in this line I might have to pick up, but I am definitely happy with how these pencils look. Let me know which one you like better. You like the cool mint? Or do you like the pleasant teal? How about we write with these and see how they perform? Today, I'm going to be writing an Electrum 1917 bullet journal. And this is a dot grid. For looks, I 
definitely a racist pen. Five out of five. I just love the look of it. Real clean, modern, and chic. Now, let's check out the line size. Oh no, it broke the floor. For performance, I would definitely give this pencil a 4 out of 5. Only thing I think that could be a little better is the eraser. It does leave a little bit of residue behind. And just to show you, we'll do the eraser test here for the end. That's across a bunch of lines, which ain't bad. It's not bad at all. And the eraser does get, get ate up rather fast, too. But overall, I really like this pencil. And I would definitely recommend it. It's affordable. You can pick them up for less than $5. Overall, I really like how this pencil looks. I like how it writes, and it's simple to use. All you need to do to refill it is to pull this little top piece off, remove your eraser, drop some lead in, bada bing, bada boom, and you can also adjust your eraser. Once it starts getting low, you can slide it forward. And there we have it, boys and girls and pen friends worldwide. That is the Pentel Sharp. A great mechanical pencil in my opinion. This is Big Bad Brad. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a big old like down below. Comment. Let us know what you want to see us review next. And if you've been around for a while, let us know what your favorite video has been. Until next time, ciao, man.